We're talking with Aaron Carter about his recent struggles, including the current state of his mental health. So Aaron, I know that you mentioned right. that this is what mental health looks like. Yeah. And I would disagree. I looked at your medical list from before and now. I mean, these things have contraindications. Of course. And they cause possibly things like serotonin syndrome. Right. And difficulties with concentration and memory. Yeah. And so there's all of these things that could be happening. And I know that you're saying that you're clean and sober, but marijuana being part of your regimen doesn't really strike people as sobriety. True sobriety means that you're really not on any substances. When somebody has an addictive process already in their history, right. marijuana affects your brain in a very different way than somebody who actually has no problem. So somebody wants to use it medicinally, if they've never had addiction issues, that's not a problem. When somebody has had an addiction history, you can't use marijuana because it has totally different effects on your brain. So guess what's happening? What? I'm quitting smoking weed. Do you know why? You're gonna quit today? Yeah. And why? Uh, because it affects my medications. Yes, they do. So it doesn't allow my medications to work properly. We haven't really talked about the huffing. Right. No, and it's, that, and it's, that's something, it's something that... I, I've kept secret from the whole world until now. I lied to you. <laughs> I said, I just told you the truth. Huffing was what I was doing. That's why I have gabapentin and I have to take fish oil. Okay. Because I have to repair the serotonin, the receptors in my brain. I want to ask you the huffing when it started, how often you were doing it, what you were huffing. Uh, it started when I was about 16. My sister Leslie, who passed away from an overdose, got me into it. Didn't really touch it until I was about 23, right after I did Dancing with the Stars. And then I started going to Staples and Office Depot and different places, buying it with cash so it wouldn't be reported on receipts or anything like that. So no one could trace me or anything. I was huffing because, because I was really stupid and sad, and, but there's really no excuse, really. I was huffing because I'm a drug addict. I'm a drug addict. So I, I'm a drug addict in recovery. You might not look at me smoking weed as being sober, but I do. When's the last time you huffed? Was the last, uh, right before you guys put me in rehab. So you're... You know, let, is there any other tests we can do to prove that? Well, that's, that's why huffing is such a complex yeah. problem. Because you can't do a test. You can't do a test. I'm aware of that. And <laughs> what it does to your body physiologically can mm. be just as bad as drugs. Well, and, I'm, and so it's, yeah. you know, you know how much it can when I went to the mess you when, up. when I went to the rehab, I went there for 28 days and I left, went back to Florida, relapsed immediately, realized I, God, I need help again. So I got in my car and I drove across the country 38 hours straight back to rehab. What was the relapse on? Was it huffing, huffing or was it something else? Okay. Huffing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's my truth. The truth shall set you free. How are you doing now? I'm doing amazing. I, uh, I'm taking on a lot of the brunt of uh, what's going on with the family, but I'm strong enough. I'm fierce. I've learned. And the regimen that I'm on, so since I'm back on it, um, I got myself back on it about two weeks ago, all right? And in two weeks, I've managed to make myself and manage over $100,000 of deals because I wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning and go to bed at 9 o'clock at night. Um, I cook my own steak on my grill outside by myself in my house. Um, I set up that house to have a family, and I'm just waiting for my, the love of my life to show up so that I can, uh, I can be strong. I can say I've been through hell and back, and I'm back, and I'm here to stay.